You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we have this little ink. This is Sailor, Texas. This is from the 50 States collection. Let me get in here right quick. It's a 20 mil bottle, as uh, it says... Well, actually... Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't says that anywhere. There you go. It says that there. Uh, and these go for uh, twenty to twenty-five bucks, I think, is the regular price for these things. Uh, this came to me from Drum Ghouls Pens down in Houston, Texas. So thank you very much, Drum Ghouls, for letting me uh, borrow. Let me have this bottle to uh, just show off and uh, tell people about. Texas is my home state, and so I was excited about getting this color. And I do like brown a lot. And so uh, let's see what this looks like on the page. Looks like this on the page, and uh, I like this little bottle, and I actually quite like this ink as well. Uh, as you can see, it is a nice sort of medium to like darkish brown, although it doesn't go into dark, like brown black territory really. Uh, stays brown the whole time. And I had it in two pens, so I had it in this one, which is one of my many diplomat arrows. This one with a fine nib, uh, and so you can get this character right here, which is uh, very nice. It has no problems flowing in this nib. I haven't had any hard starts or stops or anything of that nature, and I. Think I think it still looks pretty good, even this fine nib, and it definitely still looks like a uh, like a uh, like a like a brown. Uh, and you do get some of this like little black sheeny bits here, uh, right here. So you do get some uh, some shading and some sheen out of this one. Not a whole lot of sheen, depending on uh, what your nib is like. So. This one is a Mont Blanc 146 uh, with sort of a stub nib on it. This is from the, uh, it's an older pen from the 70s and uh, it has a sort of stubby nib. Of course, these nibs aren't marked, so I don't exactly know what it is, but pretty sure it's a stub. And this one, of course, is much wider than the fine Diplomat Aero nib and uh, you definitely get more of this interesting brown shading, but you don't really get uh, the sheen, the like black, uh, the black sheen that you sometimes will see. I don't really see that in this uh, in this writing sample here at all. As for how it works on papers, uh, this is the uh, the 20 pound, 30% recycled uh, staples paper that I always use for this stuff, and uh, it does okay. It's uh, it's pretty good here from uh, from the smaller nib, although you do get some spread and such. And uh, from the bigger nib, you definitely get some spread. Uh, you get a little bit of bleeding on uh, on both, but definitely more here, more show through, which is like a few spots of bleed here. So. Uh, not a surprise. Again, this paper is total crap. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, other papers, I'll go ahead and show you right now. I have it on, in this ink journal. This is Tomoe River. You can find these at inkjournal.com. And uh, here is the... Uh, uh, the uh, the diplomat arrow with that sailor Texas in there. It's a nice light brown on here because it doesn't really doesn't really soak in, and so you get more of that ink staying on top, and so it looks lighter. And then a couple of pages later, uh, I have Mont Blanc 146 here. Man, how long have I had it in this arrow? I filled it up at least once or twice uh, since yeah August, so it's been a little while. Uh, but this is uh, this is the um, the 146 with that stub nib, and I think it looks very nice on this paper with that nib. Actually, both nibs it looks really good on this one. And then I have uh, here an Inky Fingers currently inked notebook, and this is with wheat straw paper. And uh, here it is down here. You get the Diplomat Arrow, uh, which is uh, again looking really good here. It doesn't it doesn't really soak in much. It actually is interestingly lighter on these papers than it is on Rhodia. I'm not really sure why. And then yeah, here's the 146, where it definitely looks darker than it does in the in the Arrow. So uh, a lot of these inks, and this is the thing to always remember: ink, nib, and paper is the triumvirate that you need to pay attention to when you're looking at how an ink looks, because it'll look different on different papers and with different nibs. Just kind of the way she goes. Okay, so let's talk about uh, some. Uh, let's do a little little water test here. I'll show the chromatography. And I'll show a few uh, few inks that are. Scraggles. A few things that are roughly similar here. There we go. Get some water on it. Give it a little shake, a little shimmy. And let's blot it up. Put a good bit of a good bit of water down there, so let's blot it up carefully so I don't make too much of a mess. Fair amount of it coming off on the uh, on the paper towel there, but there we go. Yeah, so uh, water resistant. I mean, yeah, kinda. You get this like interesting like pink color that comes up here, and that's not a huge surprise because this is the chromatography for this ink, which is so complicated. Look at this chromatography; it's nuts. So down here where it began, you have a gray, like a bluish gray streak, and then you have pinkish red maroon stuff, and then you've got like 
I'm not even sure what this is, like a gold or something up here at the top? Very, very wild combination of inks that it takes to get uh, Sailor Texas, which is, by the way, meant to um, sort of call to mind the uh, the history of leather and such in, uh, like, the Texas culture. So we got, like, dusters and cowboy boots and cowboy hats and all manner of things, saddles and such. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, I dig this. I dig this ink. Let's look at it next to uh, some other inks right quick. All right, so there it is on my Colodex card, where it's actually coming up real dark, which is <laughs> which is interesting. And then uh, here's Diamine Gingerbread, which I think is pretty close to uh, how this ink will look on some other papers too. This is from the ink event last year. I'm gonna do an ink event right now for, right now for 2020, so check those videos out. But this is uh, Diamine Gingerbread. You can get this in... Um, in these bottles actually now from Diamine, so check those out. Uh, then we have, uh, I have here Colorverse Coffee Break. You know, I thought I was gonna have a whole lot of browns that looked kinda like this, but actually as I was flipping through my browns, I really don't. Like, there are a bunch that look like they're in this kind of range, but they're just missing some stuff. Uh, and this doesn't really look like any of the ones I have either. So, um, this is Coffee Break, which I really haven't had a chance to use, although it looks like a really pretty sort of medium brown here. Uh, and then uh, Monteverde Scotch Brown, which is one of my favorite browns. I just really like the way this brown looks. Scotch Brown and Brown Sugar are so good looking. And Texas uh, is, I think, markedly different from this one. It's not nearly as dark, for one thing. But uh, still very cool. Uh, this is Monteverde Pumpkin Cake. Monteverde makes some good browns, man. That's, that's why I got a bunch of them here. This is Pumpkin Cake, which has a distinctly uh, orangish or reddish kind of cast to it as compared to Texas, which does, I think, I guess it kind of leans a little bit more yellow or something than it does this red. And then lastly, uh, this is Diamine Tobacco Sunburst. And I've uh, only gotten this pretty recently and I haven't had a chance to use it. But again, this looks a little bit more on the yellow side even than Texas. So uh, Fiji Stays Texas does look like an ink that is not identical to any of the other browns that I have. I have a bunch of browns, so that is a pretty good deal. So there you go. You can find that at your favorite sailor dealership. Uh, I got this one from Dromgools. Thank you again, Dromgools, for letting me review this one. Go find it there, where it's 25 bucks in this 20, uh, 25, oops, 20 milliliter bottle. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.